What up YouTube, Doom NYC here with another deck profile. This one's going to be a popular deck that's going around right now and especially going to be even more popular uh, for this format coming. A lot of people saying it's going to be one of the top decks. So just wanted to show you guys before the format starts, alright? So this is going to be Dark Debris or Chaos Plants. So here we go, this is my take on it. First we start with Double Debris. And obviously, you can only run two debris in the next format. So again, this is this deck is going to be reflecting the March 2011 ban list. Uh, two debris. We got double lone fire. You know, your searcher for your plants gets you either your dandelion. You know, one dandelion. So sad. Um, one titanium. Really good beat stick. Uh, especially good right now with cards that target. So this cards. Um, really good in the deck and you got your staple plant tuners your gold bulb and your spore so you gotta play those two it's really good um all right the biggest change in the deck and probably what makes the deck so fast and so good double card trooper i can't believe konami brought this back to two this card's so good at two it's almost too good now you don't care if you mill it because you have another one to get you mill three, get destroyed, it's plus one. This card's just overall too good for this deck. Um, Alright, we're going to go into the darks now. We got a double Chaos Sorcerer. I know Chaos Sorcerer is unlimited, it's to three, but to be honest with you, in this deck, because it doesn't run a ton of, you know, darks and lights, playing this at three, if you draw multiples at in the beginning, it's going to end up being dead. And you don't ever want that. You don't even want this early game. You want to draw this late game. So running it at 2 is probably the best idea for at least my deck build. Um, one Gores. It's pretty staple. Um, double Caius. Double Caius is really good. Uh, you know, can get rid of a lot of things for you. So that's good. And also the thing, like, well, you'll see. I'll show you later with Gores. Um, Sangin searches out everything plague spreader really really good tuner like so underrated in this deck because it could help you out in ways that you wouldn't think especially if you have like lone fire and titanium in your hand and you don't want to you know waste your lone fire on something else you want to get titanium to the field you have plague in the grave you bring this back and you can put titanium on top of your deck summon lone fire and then get titanium so it's overall so that's a really good play. Um, we go on to the lights. Triple Ryko. Triple Ryko is just too good. Destroy one mil three. Again, this deck is very very fast. Double Thunder King. This is an anti-meta measure. It's good against a lot of decks. Really good against Samurai. So with this guy on the field, you know it's gonna stop a lot of things. And it's a light if it gets milled off. And the last light I'm gonna use Double Veiler. Veiler's just too good. You know, you you Veiler the Sheen, and then you can just do whatever you want at that point. So, Veiler at 2, it's a level 1 tuner. Really good. Um, okay. Spells now. This deck's pretty spell heavy, so we run 2 Pot of Avarice. I thought about running 3, but drawing it early game like Chaos Sorcerer is just bad. So, 2 is good, you know, just hope you don't mill them off. But, yeah, 2 Pot of Avarice, 1 Charge the Light Brigade. A lot of a lot more speed to the deck, so it makes the deck you know so good. Especially if you draw a bad hand, but you have this. This can really get your plays going. So charge is good. One for one MVP card of the deck, hands down. This card's too good. You draw a card that you don't want in your hand, like a glow up ball with spore, um, plague spreader. You can just ditch one of those to bring something level one on the field, and just do a whole bunch of nice combos with that. Foolish Burial, same thing. You got all those tuners that belong in the graveyard. You got Dandelion you can dump. So if you need the tokens, especially if you get these two in your hand, it's pretty broken. You you dump Dandelion, you play one for one, you get like a uh, Spore or Glow Bulb, you sink for formula. It's just good combos. Uh, mind Control, you run a lot of tuners. Good, good cards in your deck to take your opponent's stuff and sink. So that's a really good card. Book of Moon. Sadly, it's at one, but you know, it's going to be now be a staple at one in every deck. So, 
It's a good card. Uh, Monster Born Dark Holes, more staples. Spell and Trap Removal, double MST. That's just obvious. Um, one Nobleman, and this is getting main decked. And the reason it's getting main decked because next format, with Book of Moon at 1, everybody's going to be running Trap Stun. And also, Solemn Warning at 2 is just going to be staple in most decks. So. This card's gonna get rid of Solemn Warning for you. It's gonna bait out their trap stuns. So on your turn, you play this. They are, they f they're forced to activate trap stun, and then you know pretty much that's a waste. So that's that card's gonna be really good. And of course, Giant Trine. A lot of people said this card should be banned. I don't think so. I think we need something. This doesn't destroy, so it's a good card. And finally, for the traps, just pretty standard. Three Royal Decree. Um, some people may disagree on this, but honestly, Royal Decree has never been better than it is right now. With Book of Moon at one, this card is going to stop everything. The only thing stopping this right now, MSTs, Giant Trunade, and even Giant Trunade doesn't destroy it. So this card's really broken right now. Um, any deck that can use Royal Decree, I suggest you do it because this card's really good. Everybody's going to be playing Trap Stun, so this card just stops that. So, alright, next up, let's go on to the sideboard. Sideboard, we got you know, on more lights, double Cyber Dragon for machines, gadgets, you know, stuff like that. Uh, I do play double Lila. I think this is really good in mills um it could you know definitely games two or three you could put this in especially against gravekeepers this card is really good against gravekeepers because you know, it keeps necro valley off the field so again you know situational um double maxi uh, i like this against samurai a lot especially you know now coming to format they only have one gateway but once you guys see my samurai build you see that gateway is not that hard to get and um, maxi can be very beneficial because more than more than likely if they do get a gateway and like a united first turn they're gonna fill their field up what that means for you is four about four extra cards so that's that's broken this is this is really good in that situation one crow just good against a lot of things a uh, duradark against black wings too many Blackwing decks still left. Uh, double cross out for this deck and for pretty much anything that sets, you know, cross out's gonna be good. And then I run a few traps, even though I'm running Decree, because against certain decks like Samurai, you might not want to run Decree. Light One, you definitely don't want to run Decree against them. So I got one Dust Tornado, one Torrential. This is just good. Um, Samurai or Light Sworn, they summon a lot of things that you don't like. You just torrential the field. Light Imprisoning. With Card Trooper at 2, Light Sworn's going to get a big boost. I see a lot more Light Sworn players coming out now, so this is going to be big thing. Shadow Imprisoning for darks like Gravekeepers and, you know, even Blackwings. So you can use that. And one Oppression. And this is for the GB matchup. And I'm not ever going to forget about GBs. In fact, I hear a lot of people talking about how GBs are going to be big this format. I hope not. I really don't like playing against Gladiator Beast, so Royal Oppression is like a must. If I play Gladiator Beast using this deck, the three, degree, the three decrees come out automatically. First and foremost, those three come out. Oppression goes in, and uh, Torrential goes in, and Dust Tornado goes in. So, you know, depending on how you like to play, that's how you're gonna do it. Um, for the synchros, double formula and formula is so easy to get out in this deck. So you gotta run formula synchron. One armory arm, Cataster, only one level five. Uh, Bry Bryonic and Iron Chain. I run Iron Chain because with debris and uh, Ryko you can get this guy. Plus no Goyo, so no more level six. Um, that's it. Level sevens, Black Rose and Ancient Fairy. I chose to run Ancient Fairy over a second Black Rose only because Gravekeepers are still playing. I don't understand Konami. Um, Royal Tribute to two didn't really, that doesn't make a difference. Um, in my opinion, Gravekeeper decks are better when they only play two Royal Tributes. So all they did was, 
you know, force players to play a better deck. So I didn't like that at all. So now I have to main deck Ancient Fairy Dragon. Chimera Tech, Colossal Fighter, Scrap Dragon, uh, Dark End. You know, you can get that a lot of ways. Uh, double Stardust and one Shooting Star Dragon. So that is, um, that is the Chaos Plant deck or Dark Debris, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, deck profile number 36 I believe so yeah leave your comments down below don't forget to rate and subscribe and until next time YouTube peace